anybody got anything new to add in or something they think should be taken out or amended? I was just going to say, Richard, that um, I think um, apart from the material aspect of the fire door, uh, the physical construction, the certification and, and stuff like that, I think um, during day to day use, um, I think an aspect that's probably forgotten a little bit is um, the connection of the fire door uh, to cause an effect. So say it might be connected to, um, I don't know, a mag lock or they might put a security device on, you know, um, a, a final exit fire door. It might be saying a mental health um, in Institute where you, you have high security, but you, you have, um, say, 60 minute fire doors as well. And in instances where uh, the cause and effect isn't programmed properly or say it isn't maintained properly, that the, the electric locks might fix into position where the door should be opened on activation of the fire alarm. Sometimes it's fixed into position and therefore causing an entrapment um, situation. So I think um, in terms of the fire door uh, being connected to other electrical or mechanical devices, I think that's there's, there's something there um, that I think we just probably need to be a little bit aware of. Absolutely. Do you want to pop that in that point in your, in the chat so we've got we can bear yeah. that in mind? Uh, can I just uh, add to that comment as well? I think it's a great point. I think a lot of um, awareness is required where fire doors are installed and you walk away, and then the building's responsible person or asset owner suddenly decides to add access control. I think uh, there's a lot of information there that needs to be from an education perspective on what is access control, how that affects test evidence of doors, how it affects regulations for walking through a door, the heights of mad locks, if they're permitted. You know, it's, you can't just install a fire door and walk away if the client then suddenly takes on the responsibility to add access control retrospectively. It really needs. We're having some CPDs actually with Asra Adboy, Roy Buckingham and his team because, you know, something we're acutely aware of. Whilst we don't install access control, we've got to make sure the client's aware of what it is. And, they, you know, when we hand the, a compliantly installed fire door over, they can't just suddenly then turn it into a door that's not as per test evidence specifically related to the access control if it needs access control i think a lot more awareness needs to be made on that part i think that's where a lot of buildings go wrong yeah that'd be great thank you Rainey. <laughs> Right, thank you. So, sorry, maybe I'm getting confused a little bit, but I think it's really important to to establish and demarcate the door, sourcing the door, the procurement of the door, and then you have the installation of the door, commissioning and installation. But then also, when the door's already been installed, then the third phase now is really important, and I thought that's what we were talking about, is the inspection and the maintenance well, of, that, of, not, of that asset. Sorry, so, if you look on, we start on we start on the specification of the door. Right. We go to the ins installation of the door. Go down, just inspection. Carry on, just. You've got the same headings, for, yeah, for every every single top a topic, isn't it? But 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 really, I mean, no, for me. Too. Maintenance, that's it. So when the door's already been installed, you have the specification, you have the, the, the certificate of conformity, you have the primary test data, you have the field of application, you know, you have the um, uh, the third party uh, accredited information, you have the the, the, the blue mark, uh, or wh whether it's BM Trader or whether it's uh, Ferris, you have all of these documents. So you have that, you store that in your database because your door is, is already installed. So you have all of these documents. I think what's important now for us to look at the second phase is how do you inspect that door most importantly because that's that's the point at which the door fails a fantastic 60 minute fire door with all the um ironmongery that's listed on the field of application um perfectly installed um you know and by, by, by responsible installers but then it's not in, it's not inspected and it's not maintained so uh, what is the information that you need for that stage well, I can, think I that's the two, question. can i make just two points on that the first point yeah. is you've got all that information it's all perfect if it's a new installation if right. it's existing, you haven't. And most of the most of the property is existing. That's the point. That's, first that's point. the case, unfortunately. The second, yeah. yeah, the second the second point is uh, what you're saying about the inspections. Um, we've actually been running an, a, a number of workshops with Alan Oliver, who wrote the, a standardized inspection inspection regime for the NHS. And we're currently, he's currently putting one together um, in conjunction with a number of our, our people, our experts, for housing, residential. And that's being done as we speak. Um, right. So believe me, we're on that. Brilliant. Yeah. Okay. And 
if you if you want to sit in on that uh, or get involved in that, be you, you'd be more than welcome. Yeah, yeah, we we can do, we can do. Um, my, my point, closing point, what I was just going to make is that I think in that form that you had, George, um, the information that I think would be important to have is from door manufacturers. What do you need if that door breaks? You know, what are the allowed? What are the authorized um, um, iron mongery that you're allowed uh, based on the manufacturer's instructions and the field of application report? Are you allowed to put a dormer door closer? You know, um, uh, is it CE mark? So that is the list that you need from manufacturers. If the door is damaged, how, how many microns of paint? You know, is it lead based? Uh, what are you allowed to do to maintain that door? If the door is exposed to a weather, say, for instance, it's 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 on an open deck balcony, mm -hmm. so it is a fire door um you know sort of uh, what is the maintenance regime that sort of information i think is really important during the inspection and the maintenance phase that i think is really lacking um and 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 you know um, landlords are just left sort of in the lurch because they don't have access to that sort of information and in in, in a lot of situations the warranty is breached uh, because of that so um i think that I, sort I, of... I i fully 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 agree yeah. um uh, the the question is how do we how do we get that information? Uh, the the view is it will all be in the O and M, but we know that it won't unless we there. unless we specify it unless we say what we need, then we won't. And it, it's also then a matter of um, of making it um, attractive and and simple for the door manufacturers to provide that information. Um, Elliot, w Elliot, w you're you're my go to person on this. <laughs> um, how, how would you be able to satisfy what Rainey has just asked? In regards, sorry, I was I was distracted. I apologize. By, uh, sorry. So, so with regards, what? Sorry. Yeah, what were so you asking, Rainey? Do you want to just repeat the maintenance, it um, the, the, the maintenance regime, as long, when a door has been installed, normally the manufacturer will just say, OK, you know, we, we advise that, you you know, you maintain and, and, and you'll keep your door. But it doesn't actually give you a list of authorised products that you are allowed to change. For instance, um, that I may provide right. certain types of ironmongery, door closers, spy holes, letter boxes. Mm -hmm. Say, for instance, the paint was destroyed. They're not going to send it back to your manufacturing plant. So therefore, if you provide a maintenance regime, something that compliance department can then take into account and say, for instance, you know, you're allowed 1.5 microns of this type of paint. It allows for the door to be maintained and the life cycle of the door, um, you know, to, 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 to be kept and the integrity of the door to perform in case there was a fire later on. So <laughs> yeah, is that so, sort of information? So that's, that's how, that, that would all be held within the field of application. So with your NFC chip that's in your door, you would have a link yeah. to that and it would literally show you all the component parts that are allowed to be put onto that door. And that goes back to the point I made earlier about making it really hard for it all to be data readable because you've got so many variables that you could put on a tested door set. Um, with regard to paint, um, we're, we're composite. So we tend to, you would tend to find that that you wouldn't respray if, if the door fades, um, it, it would be within warranty. It's, it's a life, almost a lifetime guarantee. So that's that's less because uh, paint, water-based paint doesn't make a difference. It's not um, an exhilarant, so uh, it, it won't it won't be fire rated mm -hmm. as such. Um, but yeah, everything is in the field of application, so it refers back to there's no desktop studies anymore. It is this door has been tested with this product, so that's what it can be replaced with. So, for Roy's example, we've got different closers that our door that can be put on our door um so you could go on there look at the closers if the closer has been damaged and as long as there is no external damage to the door as a result of it being taken off um then it can be replaced with a, a product that is tested how widely so sorry just jump in just how widely is what you're doing being done by other people elliot I can't speak for everybody, but we use a generic uh, system provider, which is an independent uh, team. And, and the more people that sign up with them, this this data is available. So anybody that uses an NFC chip or QR code, I would think would have that data 
um, accessible to the responsible person in some way, shape or form to allow maintenance of that product. Yeah, can, can I just clarify? I just, th this is really important. Would that external provider, are they making that information machinery uh, available to somebody that maybe is using um, Alex Oldham's Civica system? Yeah, the, the only way we'll be able to do that is to deconstruct a Word document and put it into machine readable format. It's not at the moment, it's a Word document, so therefore oh, it's not yeah, machine readable really. But it could but be could, made machine readable, yeah. But we, we, we could get the, uh, I've gone too far there by making asking for it to be machine readable. If, uh, are, are you saying that's available um, to be downloaded by the end client? A, a CV format, a CV file format, batch files, anything. I mean, it's it's quite easy, I think, that sort of yeah. thing too. Yeah. Well, it, it's a Word document and it's a controlled document. Therefore, it is it is you're not able to touch or open or, or do anything with it. So uh, from a machine readable format, it's not because it is a PDF or a, or a Word document and you have if to it, go to the pertinent place. Yeah, so when 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 Rainey, uh, as, as a landlord, what? would they would they be able to download it as? No. As, uh, ah, OK, so. Well, they really, could view it, they could view it, but they couldn't download it. It's a controlled document. We, we can. So fabricators can have it. Um, I would have to speak to our, our technical team to look at exactly how they could, but it is a controlled document. They are not allowed to edit it or touch it in any way, shape or form. So actually for Rainey's purposes, it, it probably isn't uh, usable then. Well, it is because if, if, if you've got damage to product number one, Rainey Towers, um, they go in and they look at that door and then they can go, right, so our, our door closes damaged what door closes you go to the door closer section and it will give you four products that you can replace it with but it's just not machine readable you couldn't type in door closers and it it go to it it's you'd have to manually search the document okay. to find it but you yeah, could that's, find that's it the key. I think okay, we, we need to move on now <laughs> yeah really